Thanks for coming and uh, uh, appreciate our fans and, and uh, incredible atmosphere at nighttime in the horseshoe. Um, I don't think we played a clean game. I do not want to take anything away from our opponent because that's two weeks in a row that they just swung as hard as they possibly could uh, with very good players. Um, I thought our defense, you know, we gave up some pass yards there. Certainly too many at the end for the most part. They just kept us, uh, you know, because offensively we're sloppy and, and not executing at a high level. And then, uh, uh, you know, once it got going, uh, we had some big plays and, and scored enough points to win the game. So I'll answer any questions for you. Front row right uh, over here, Tim. Yeah, Urban, uh, was that the call for Cardale? Was that a keeper on his own? Was that a little option play? He, the the, the, uh, the clinching touchdown there at the end? Yeah, we knew they were going to be blitzing, and it was called, uh, that was a, a direct run, yeah. Q run, where you just gap everybody down, and we knew they'd be all over the place. And uh, we wanted to keep, at that point, keep the clock running. And uh, yeah, that was a direct run. Yeah. And the other thing, with JT, uh, like you said, you'll, 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 uh, Address that this coming week and stuff. Uh, will he initial, Will he be in the the running for the starting job this coming week? Yes. Uh, second row left, Austin. Urban, how would you evaluate Cardale going back out there just as a whole? And then, as you said, what do you need to see in the early part of the week as you make that decision? Well, it's just the accuracy in the throw game. Uh, you know, that's. I, I feel like, and it's hard for me to say now that. Because I don't see, I'm down on the field and you can't see a thing down there. And, and uh, when they're, you know, we're getting some situations where it might be like bear zero or the no deep situations that they're gonna, they're gonna do the best they can to take away Zeke, and they pretty much did. I mean, only had 114 yards and on 26 carries, but um, we weren't able to get him out, you know, like we like to. And there's only one way to do that, and it's been that way since the beginning of the evolution of football. They do this. You have to be able to hit those, and uh, when we do, we uh, we move the ball. So uh, obviously, we had a couple big ones. You know, the Jalen, the uh, Braxton, and a couple other ones. So we just got to continue to work at that. Over here to the right, Clay. Did you want to throw deep more in the second half? It seemed like you stretched it a little bit more. I wanted to hit the deep ones. Yeah. Yeah. Not just uh, throw. No, just no, throw. No. You just throw. No, and no, he hit the deep ones. Yeah. And how did he? Not, uh, okay, you know, uh, I can't remember when uh, Jalen, I think Jalen's was the first half. Second half, we had Braxton in a very good, uh, no deep situation. Uh, but you had Curtis on one, you had Braxton on another one. We, uh, one of the linemen made a mistake. So, you know, those are those situations that, you know, when we're, when we're cooking, we're nailing it. You know, those are the situations that when you get no deep or, or nine up, eight up to stop the run, that you have to hit those deep balls. You said sloppy, but several, you may not be aware of, three or four, I don't know how many unbeatens. TCU, Michigan State, Memphis lost today. Survive in advance. Yeah, best thing about 9-0, and chance to go 10-0, and that's it. And, and uh, with a good bunch of people, that's what's good. I can't wait to go back to work tomorrow. Middle left, Bill. First of all, how's Braxton? I think he's going to be all right. I just talked to him, and uh, I'll know more tomorrow. And what was the, is it more his shoulder, the chest, what was the? I'm not quite sure. You know, I think he just got the wind knocked out of him or dinged a little bit, so I'll know more tomorrow. And the interception by Vaughn Bell, when they initially called a, called a targeting, were you pretty sure it was not? And how, what were, we, were you thinking I just that? saw, I didn't see it. I just saw on the big screen like everyone else did. But I couldn't tell. Front row right here, Andy. Coach, your overall grade on Cardale and, and the offense's performance as a whole, and you know, you, you said sloppy. I'll know, more, but... I'll know more tomorrow when I watch the videotape. Because a lot of times when I, I used to do that, I'm wrong. And I'd rather wait till I let you know for sure when I meet with you guys on Monday or Tuesday. Just kind of your overall Im impression, though, if, you know, just coming off of the game. Uh, not what we expect. We expect to play better. And I hate to say that because that sometimes sounds like we're taking away from our opponent because they're, they're a pretty rugged group. and. Uh, uh, but just uh, expect much more efficiency out of our, our offense. Far Do left. We have any turnovers? Well, we had one. Lost fumble. Okay. Far left, uh, Doug. Urban, we've talked about this a lot this year with JT and Cardale. At this point, do you feel like the offense is, the offense is, is very different? when one guy is in compared to the other, we saw what JT does with the run game. Different, Did you yeah. feel that tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I felt a little different that, uh, a little different, you know, probably more so now as the season's gone on than I did earlier in the year. 
uh, a little different. I think the read game, you know, that's not a big part of Cardell's game, the, which is kind of one of the parts of the foundation of the offense. So you have to get those yards somewhere else, and it's got to be that. And, and it looks pretty good when you're hitting that. Because uh, they're, they're really, you know, at times, you know, just putting a lot. This team, that's their base because they have two very good corners. Stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. And they, boy, they were up in there. And we're trying to be as creative as we can to get some run, runs going. Um, but then you got to hit those passes. And final two, far right over here, Jeff. Coach, uh, if my numbers are correct, tonight Zeke became Ohio State's fourth leading all-time rusher. Can you talk a little bit about his consistency and how you just count on that guy all the time? Yeah, he's an animal, and I, I love that kid. He's a, a team player. You can see the way he's holding on to the ball because they were trying to strip it near the end. Well, he's excellent in pass protection again tonight. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a workhorse that uh, we're very glad he's going to be with us for a while. And final question over here to the left, Tino. Coach, uh, Von Bell had a pretty stellar game, a pick six and 10 overall tackles. Um, can you kind of talk about his play tonight and how he was all over the field? Oh, no more, but uh, I see what you saw. You know, I, I don't spend a lot of time right now on that. When I go on Sunday, I will and find out how he did, but I saw the same thing you did. He's, he's one of our most consistent performers, not just on defense, but on our team.